that's Alakamath organizes workshops for hand stitching and machine quilting in the city. By Barka Kumari in January 2018, India will host its first festival of quilts. Yes, quilts, those light bed toppers that you also crawl under to stay snug, and which you might better know as Razai, Kantha, Kuti, Godhati, or as coverlets with repetitive blocks of flowers and birds that your grandmothers might have sewn. To be held in Chennai, the India Quilt Festival, IQF will showcase, over three days, the best of quilt designs, techniques, accessories and makers from the country and abroad. This has the members of Facebook group Daisy Quilters DQ, excited as they will finally have their time in the limelight. They are 2,600 of them, and are a mix of office goers, entrepreneurs, new mothers, and women on a career break, and grannies, who've learned the skill of quilting themselves or from each other. Traditionally, quilt making used to be a community activity, so even these ladies meet up offline to exchange tips and tricks on quilting, a technique of sewing three layers of fabric, a layer of patchwork or a whole cloth goes on top, a fabric of cotton, silk, or bamboo goes in the mid as batting, and a base holds them all. Coming of age wonder what's made this humble household item so pop among urban women? Thanks to the internet and international traveling, Indians have discovered that quilts can be more than just items of utility, or gifts for weddings, baby showers and anniversaries. That they can be pieces of art as fine as paintings and photographs, evidence of which can be found in America or Europe where people dedicate exhibitions, museums, movies and contests to quilts and quilt makers. So, quilts in India are now going up as wall hangings, and on t-shirts and tote bags too. If Westerners are drawing the characters of Star Wars with fabrics, Poonas Kalindi Hambir has sewn the face of our current Prime Minister on a quilt, and is finishing a holy scene for her next. In 2010, she won the World Quilt Festival in Shanghai for applique quilting the image of a mouse holding a bell. Called pictorial art quilting, this subgenre is in, and these ladies are drawing scenes from The Lion King, The Batman, Peppa Pig, Dr. Seuss, and Friends, with thread, needle, and fabric. 2. Many want to revive the forgotten tradition. Tina Katwal from Chennai, who runs the DQ Cage and Tasco conceived the IQF show, is one of them. She says, most research suggests that quilting originated in India, 2000 years ago, and that we have 26 different types of quilting. For our mothers and grandmothers, it was a way of upcycling their old saris and clothes of other family members. Done by hands, during kitchen breaks, the process would take days and months to complete. American quilting, whereas, is only 400 years old, says the mother of two, who being a Himachali has spent her childhood around a lot of quilts. Later, quilts acquired an emotional value as women started sewing them to mark important life events such as marriage, given away in dowry, the birth of a baby, or death in the family. So why did this family practice discontinue? Katwal, 46, says, I call the women of our generation, the lost generation, who in the race to study and do jobs forgot to pick up the skills of sewing and quilting. The tradition kind of stopped with our grandmoms. So now when new mothers want to learn these skills, they need to look up online videos and blogs. That threw up a unique challenge. Indian quilts were completely hand-done, with thread, needle, and mostly scrap cloth, so the patterns were quite organic and inconsistent. It is said that by looking at the quilt patterns, you could gauge the mood of the quilter, and whether she was having a good day or not. Whereas, in Western or modern quilting, women use rulers, rotary cutters, batting and freezing papers, and now heavy machines, so their patterns are uniform. Katwal explains, so when we used to look up online tutorials, we were expected to have these tools, but where could we find them in India? Until two years ago, you could not even get a quilting ruler here. 
we used to get it from abroad for 3000 rupees. Thankfully, we now get it here for 400 rupees. Yes, so, what we mostly do now is western quilting on machines, she adds. Cuts are cool things are changing, thanks to the rising interest in arts. And, because of women like Vatsa Alakamat, who hold classes and workshops in stitching, embroidery and quilting at her Sala studio in Bengaluru. However, it's a struggle to find participants. No more than one to three people sign up for workshops. Sometimes none, in the case of children. Never a man. I find women in Bengaluru are more interested in parties than in these workshops. Chennai is better, complains the 60-year-old, who learnt quilting from a Chinese woman in Singapore. Then there are the likes of siblings Aisha, 40, and Benisha Desai, 37, who have quit their jobs to save the environment. Based in Gurgaon and Pune, they take your out-of-use clothes and linen and upcycle them as quilted throws for beds, sofas and cushions, under their label Cornucopia. While 10% of the work is done by machines, the rest is hand-stitched by Godhati Wallace, the traditional quilters of Maharashtra who you can still spot walking around with needles sticking out of their buns. The duo ships out 75 to 150 orders a month, of which memory and personalized quilts form the bulk. These are made from baby wear, maternity overalls, college tops, saris of moms, even boxers, underwear, no, to preserve the beautiful memories that clothes tend to acquire with time, even with stains and holes intact. They are passed down as gifts and heirlooms. They say love is in the details, and Aisha can testify to that, mothers save everything, from the gowns they deliver their babies in, to the clothes, socks, and boots their babies wore when they came home from hospital, on their first birthday, on Janamash Sami, on Diwali, on the first day of school. Till about the age of 10. They give us 25 to 45 pieces per quilt. A mother has asked us to make a quilt that carries moral messages. Then, marathon t-shirts have been bound into sofa throws. They become great conversation pieces. Quilted cushions from dog clothes have been crafted, too. The more, the better for Bengaluru's Nandita Paisharali. Her first order came from a high school girl in the US, soon after she made her Facebook page, So Many Moments, last June. 33-year-old says the next was a remembrance quilt. A lady gave me three saris and four blouse pieces of her mom, whom she had just lost. She wanted to gift it to her dad. One time, a mother got me to do two quilts for her sons, who are three years apart. In each, she wanted a patch of the cell or a suit that she had worn to hospital to deliver them. Today, Shirali sells about six quilts a month. Shirali started quilting when she was expecting in 2016. I had a lot of time to kill, so I looked up online videos, bought a sewing machine and got cracking. I made two patchwork quilts before my son and my niece were born. It was the memory quilt I made for my son later that became a hit, and I never went back to my IT job. Even Catwall left her business of motorcycles to sell textiles, knitting tools and quilting machines, and also makes quilts under her Facebook page, The Square Inch. She shares her journey, I did a lot of hidden trial. I remember how I made my first quilt. I cut a fabric in two pieces, flunk them in air, and then stitch them in whatever order they had fallen on the ground. I made more and passed them on to unsuspecting friends. Now, she is hooked to art quilts. I am doing a funny interpretation of the nursery rhyme of Mary had a little lamb on a quilt. 
Some time back, I did a portrait of my sister, with polka-dotted lips, yellow hair and Superman motifs. Believe me, Indian quilters have come quite far, Hambir once sold her work for 80,000 rupees, and that's what the IQF will prove. And, with that, she hopes she never has to answer. This again, why do you bother cutting a fabric into pieces only to stitch them back? Pop Culture Magazine Rolling Stone put up for sale historic 25 pop culture landmarks that are celebrating a silver jubilee a case for inclusion of pop culture in university curricula Christie's Pop Culture Auction that's $1,864,144.